Okay, hi, movie four. Our job is to now create the Dreamweaver um, page where the Sorial um, portfolio can actually be a linked um, connection between uh, photography, and right now none of the rollovers work. So we are going to go through a very quick lesson in how to make all of this work. What I need to show you first is that Dreamweaver, which I'm opening up the portfolio page in Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver needs to, and ignore what I have over here because it's the wrong folder, Dreamweaver needs to know which web route folder it's supposed to use. So I've opened up the one, look at this, I've opened up the web route folder that's within the student demo web page assets folder. So what I need to do, and I'm going to tell Dreamweaver which folder to open. So the very first thing you need to do is to go manage what's referred to as manage the sites. Okay, so what we have to do is um, <clears throat> go down to, I have to remember where it is because I never go up here, site and manage sites. That same button is um, available if I go over to... Um, here and I go to manage sites down here but I'll go back over to sites or site and manage sites now in this window it says well what do you want Brian so I'm gonna say a new site I'm gonna say this is the student you would use your own name it doesn't matter what you name it just know which name you're naming it so this is the student um, route folder just so I know what it is. Now, where is it is the important thing. So I'm gonna click this folder right here and I'm gonna go into the student right here. This is the student demo folder that you and I were using and right there is the web route folder. So Dreamweaver is going to know if I open this up, which images folder to use and which HTML file to use. So one click on this and I click choose. I click save. Now. As soon as I click done, the folder, the files and the folder and the pages are going to appear right over here. So there they are, right there. So now I know the, the, the page I have in front of me knows where it's, and I'm going to say it in the right way, it knows where its parent folder is. Okay, so I'm going to hit Command Plus. Actually, Command Minus because I want that smaller. Okay, this is going to be slightly confusing, but it's not that big a deal, okay? Um, I need to turn up my light a little bit because it's dark in this room. Okay, I need to relink. I'm going to click on them. Here's the slice for one of the pictures, and it has all of these other slices in it. We have to relink these with the images folder that's right there, and there's a way to do that. We have to relink all work, Photoshop, and Illustrator to their originals and their rollovers. Did you hear that? To their normal states and their rollovers. We have to do it for home, about, services, work, and contact. And do it in the right way and keep organized. I'm going to start with the home one up here. The way that I want you to work is down in this properties. If you don't have properties showing, go up to window and go down to um, the workspace layout and go down to, I forget where properties is actually, it's right there. You need the properties window, it's right on top, to be the window down here. Now, I am going to tell myself which number of the GIF image home is. Now watch how I do it. I click in this window right here. I have to go all the way to the end and I'm going to write down, if you're looking, it's the O3 GIF. So I'm writing down O3. I'll tell you why I'm writing it down. Because in a second, I have to click here and click here and delete it. It's gone. Okay? I have to relink it with itself. So I have to click to the Insert tab. Over here in this window is Insert. It's the same thing as this Insert menu here. So if I go down to Insert HTML all the way down to Rollover, that is the exact same thing as going to the insert window here and scrolling down to the word rollover. So I'm going to get the same window right here to come up. Now I want you to write down 
that image 70 is forever part of the O3 GIF. So I'm putting in here 70. Okay, that's important. Now we browse. This is actually the browse window to find the original O3. Well, since we managed the site, the images window right here is the exact right thing. So here is the portfolio O3 GIF. I'm going to click the open button and I see that I've now relinked it with itself. Now it wants to know what is the rollover state. See, that says rollover image. Click. Now I go down and I find that the rollover image is right there. It's the very first one in the list. The next one's going to be 05, hopefully. So I click open. Now I triple check. 70 is 03 normal state, 03 rollover state. Okay, and it's back right there. See it? It's back where it's supposed to be. I, I could go Command Plus on the next one. I'm going to click About. Now, the About one, look at here. I'm clicking down here. I'm clicking in this source, and I'm moving it all the way over. It's the 05 GIF. So I'm writing on my piece of paper that 05 is going to be image 71. So I want you to increase the image number every time and go slow enough so you don't get messed up. So I'm going to click back to about and hit delete. I'm going to click roll over image. What do I change? 72? I change it to 71. I now click and the 70 number, Photoshop or Dreamweaver chose it. I didn't choose it. So I have to increase by one every time. So I browse it. I'm in the 05, so I go back up to the Sorial Portfolio 05 GIF and click Open. I now click and browse to the 05 rollover, click and hit Open and click Double Check, Double Check, yes I increased it, yes it's the right one, I click Open and boom, there it's back. Now I click Services. I find out which number Services is, it's 07. So I'm writing down that 07 is going to be which number? Yes, it's 72. And I actually put check marks on my list to make sure I'm not messing up. Okay, so I take this one and I hit delete. I know it's the 07 GIF. So I click rollover image. What do I change this to? 72. And I click browse. I find 07, I click open, I click browse for the rollover image, I find 07 and I click open, and now I've got this one, the services one, watch, click, all back to normal. Now you don't have to do this, but you can test it. I can go from the design thing right here and I can click live right here. Now, it's going to change a little bit, but do you see how this shows that the rollovers actually work? See them right there? See how it's going gray, black, gray, black? I'm going to go back to the Design tab because that's the one you should be in. Now let's click on Work. I'm not going to assume anything. I'm going to make sure what the number of this one is, and it's 09 and it's 73 and I just put a check mark by 72. So I click back to work, I hit the delete key. I click rollover image, which now I have to go down here and find rollover image again. What do I change this to? Please do not forget, please triple check everything, 73. Browse for 09. Here is the 09 regular or normal state. Here is the 09 rollover state. Boom, click. And don't just think they're going to always be in order because sometimes they're not. Okay, so let me click OK. Now it's back. Let's do one more. And then I'm going to tell you that I'm going to pause this movie and I'm going to do all work, Photoshop, and Illustrator, and I'm going to do every single one all the way to tear sheet and I'm going to keep my list working then I'll come back and tell you what I've done okay but let's go to contact in contact I'm going to click and let the cursor be in there and I'm moving it over and it's 11 so now I'm putting 11 is what number 74 and I've put a check mark by 73 to make sure I don't use it again
So now I click on contact, I hit the delete key, I click rollover image. What do I change this number to? 74. I click and I'm using GIF 11. So boom, there's GIF 11 on the normal state. Click and voila, here is number 11 on the overstate. I click OK and I click double check everything and I click OK. Now I've got all five buttons done. I click Command S to save the file and I check mark 74. Now I just want to show you that all work is actually going to be, look at how it didn't update here in the source. I have to click away from it and click back. Now it did, sometimes it doesn't. So you gotta click back and forth. This one is actually the 19 one. So 19 becomes 75 on the image. So I click it, I hit the delete key, I hit the rollover image, I put in what number? 75. Now I'm finding GIF number 19, which is here. I click open, I click here, and I go down to 19 and I click and I click open and I click, I'm tr triple checking that I've done everything and it's okay. Okay, I'm pausing it. When I come back, I will have all one, two, 10 more done. Okay, I have now linked every single one and you can tell that I've done that because if I click on all work, this is gonna be number 75 as I said before. So if I go up in each one, Photoshop here is 70, I have to click it again, so it updates, it's 76. See how I highlighted that? Let me click to Illustrator, which is now 77. Sometimes you have to click it twice. This one should be 78. Image manipulation should be 79. 3D textures should be 80. This one should be 81, which it is. Organic, it's making me do it twice, is 82. Um, hard surface product is 83. Movie poster, I just clicked it twice, is 84. And this one is 85. So I've relinked it with all of its images, okay? And I've updated the number of the image, and I made sure that each rollover item was correct. Now, how do we link this to go ahead? Okay, so what I've done is I've already, if I show you, if I click live, look at how, if I go over this, look at how the white lettering turns on and the image manipulation turns on. So all the rollovers work now, but now I'm gonna go back to design up in this upper left-hand tab, and I'm going to show you how I link this page here to the portfolio page. So I click on files right over here and I kind of move this over so I can see the whole photography page right there. Now, um, there is an error in Dreamweaver, at least on my machine, and I'll tell you what that means. If I click on this photography link or this GIF image, down here it says link. Do you see it? It says number. This is what's referred to as a pick whip. Now, a line like um like a, a string should be attached to me so pretend when i click and hold it says drag to make a file now there should be a line that's connected to that so as i move my mouse up there is a string that's connected you just can't see it now i'm going to go up to photography and i want you to see as soon as i let it go there's no more number down here it says that this photography button should link to this photography HTML. Now all I do is hit Command S to save the file. I'm done. I now can close this image. Now I'm going to go back to the web route folder. I'm going to click on the portfolio. Look at how if I click to here, look at how all of my little rollovers work, every one. Look at how all of these turn white where they're, and these turn dark. Every one worked because I linked the normal state GIF to the rollover GIF. Now watch when I click, it actually goes to this one. Now the back button doesn't work because I didn't make it work yet, but I could click the back tab. So now let's go to the next file and make it work. So I close this. Let's right hand click and open the photography page in Dreamweaver. Now on the photography page, I'm gonna hit Command minus. All I need to do is connect this button to itself. 
So I don't really need to change the image number because there's only one button. Look at how look at how it did not update to the source down here in this properties menu. So I have to click away and click back and then click again and it should have updated. Okay, it took three clicks for me to get the source to come up. So click enough times without moving it so the source comes up. Now it's gonna say 03. So see how it says the 03 GIF image? So now click back on the button and hit the delete key. Now delete it out. Now go back to the insert. You can go to here to insert HTML and rollover or just click the insert tab and go down to rollover right there. Same thing. Leave it at image five and find it. Now we go back up to the top. Here is the original photography 03 GIF. Click open. Click browse and go down to find the only overstate button for it and click open. Now double check it and click OK. Now it's done. If I click the design to live tab, you'll see that it works. But now let's re-click it and then in the link button, please remember that when I drag away, I have to hold the mouse button down. There should be a line that's connected and yours will probably have a nice line or string or stick that's connected to it called a pick whip. I'm going to drag it out. Now it's connected. I can still, whoops, I didn't actually click the right file. So I'm going back in there. Look at how I just dropped it right back in there because I have to go to files. Now I want to connect it, the back button, to the Sorio portfolio page. So I click and hold, drag it to the portfolio page and let go. Now I have it in there. Now I can hit command S to save and close this one. We're done. I don't mind if you actually send me with your name on it, your web route folder. That would be beautiful to see. So you can go ahead and resubmit it. I'll have another submit um, module <clears throat> both in week one and in the final week of class for the extra credit one. So you can do it then or whenever, doesn't matter. And you can always email me and I'll, I'll discuss it with you but I want you to resubmit this so I can see it, okay? Because we're not gonna make these live on the internet, but watch this now. I click Sorio Portfolio, I click the Photography tab, I go back over to the Back button and boom, it goes back and forth and back and forth. And I wanted you to see how easy this was and how fun it is. Now I obviously know that cascading style sheets or CSS or the new Flash, which isn't called Flash anymore, it's called Muse. So you can um, really update a web page and there's so many drag and drop templates that make this all possible. But I think, still think it's very important for you to understand how to do this and how fun it can be in a portfolio. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this part. Now go on to assignment number two.